I'm Rudy Algekamp, engineer at DG Press, a Dutch press manufacturer with a passion for service. As printer of flexible packaging, we are probably unknown to the offset printing process. In three episodes, I'm going to teach you more about web offset printing. This is what an offset press looks like. At the beginning, you see an unwinder with a roll of flexible material in it. With just one click on the button, the web will be pulled through the machine and controlled by a web tension system. Before the printing process starts, the corona treatment will refresh the web for you. Each unit of the machine represents a color. Four printing units will allow you to make a full color picture. However, most printers add more colors to meet their customer requirements. A UV system will dry the web before it will be rolled up. At the end of the printing press, you see a rewinder. The printed materials will be rolled up. In this episode, we will take a look inside the printing unit to show you the basic principles of offset. I'm standing here right beside the control desk, a very important part of the machine. Because the printing jobs require high accuracy, the operator can measure the quality of the print job. The image is formed by thousands of small dots, which you will only notice by zooming in on the material. You may know from billboards that these dots could be noticeable, but how will these dots be printed onto your flexible materials? I will now take you to the machine to take a look inside. All of the cylinders above the web are used to transfer a substance. We will first highlight the three cylinders used in offset. The first cylinder is a plate cylinder. For every print job, you will need to attach a flat plate to the cylinder. This plate puts the ink on the right place and is therefore essential part of the printing process. It represents the image you want to print. We all know the principle of a stamp, but how can a flat plate manage to put ink on the right place? The answer is water, because water is ink repelling. The plate has an area to attract water, which you can see right here. The ink will stick to the other area. On the next cylinder, we use a blanket made of rubber. The ink is transferred to the blanket to be printed on the web. The third cylinder, the cylinder underneath the web, is used for counter pressure. I've just learned you the principles of offset printing technique, which is the use of water and ink to print the image. Now I'm going to show you how the ink and the water are transferred through the printing unit, which both come together at the printing plate. The transfer process of the ink starts at the top of the printing unit. This part of the unit is called the ink fountain. The ink fountain consists of multiple zones. The number of zones depends on the width of the machine. We will fill the ink fountain with ink. The volume of ink could be adjusted per zone. The machine has an ink knife to determine the correct volume. This makes it possible to make the image brighter or darker, which is even possible during the printing process. The operator can easily adjust these ink volumes at the control area. The water flow starts at the back of the printing unit. A rubber pen roller moves through the water and takes a small volume of water to the grom roller. This roller will squeeze down the water to the correct water volume and mix up the water with the ink. After the plate cylinder, most of the water is already vanished. The animation will show you how the ink and water will be transported through the printing unit. The transportation is an ongoing process. Let's go back to the machine. Now you can see the machine printing with a speed of 300 meters per minute. The result of the first printing unit is a one color image. After the second printing unit, the image gets better, with more details shown. When we stop the machine and take a closer look to the printed material, you can see the beautiful result of the offset printing process, known for the highest quality image in the printing industry. Next episode, we will take a look at the pre-press process. I will show you the fast preparation of the offset plates. From the plate making, to the installation at the printing unit, to start a new printing job. I will also highlight the use of sleeves, which will make it easier for the operator to change the job.